This is the day. This is the occasion. The final of the 2024 UEFA European Championship. A chance to write new history. A chance to achieve greatness. With the football world eagerly watching. Live on EA TV. And so it comes down to this. Welcome to our coverage of the final here at the Euros. My name is Derek Ray, sitting here on the commentary gantry. And with me to provide expert analysis, a complete tactical breakdown, is Stuart Robson. What a match this promises to be. It's Portugal versus France. Well, there's going to be some nerves out there for sure, but what an occasion this should be. It's going to be tense, it's going to be tight, but it's also going to be dramatic. It should be a terrific game. champions back in the final no great surprise that Portugal are here we've enjoyed their football over the course of the last few weeks and intriguing to see if they can get over the line on this the biggest occasion of them all and the good thing about Portugal is they do have different game plans if they want to in this game they can sit deep and soak up pressure and then play on the counter-attack or they can be very creative when they get the ball in the top third of the field not sure which tactics they're going to use for this game but they are a team to be feared and I think they've got every chance of winning this tournament but surely he should have scored there. That's a big, big chance. Gone short with it. And with 
that, the attack fizzles out. Major to the box, and clears his lines. Counter-attacking, very much an option. the half-time whistle. dangerous here.
change now. Key to take it short here. this again this is counter-attacking football at its very best and this is Ronaldo at his best he's composed he shows great technique and he just smashes it beyond the keeper moving once more how important will that opening goal prove to be Favar thirty minutes to go then his determination there for all to see Mbappe great challenge and they still could score well, an opportunity from the corner for France to get right back into this game change that again and it's all about the pace in transition they're so quick to get out from the back and Ronaldo finishes it so much quality just look how much power he hits this with it's a top class goal so the ball rolling again at 2-0 Griezmann Time just challenged magnificently. And France finding space on the flank. Targets available, cross comes in. And a goal it is! But offside is the verdict. Well, it's a good finish, but it was just offside. Great decision by the assistant.
machine, and you can understand why they want to play it that way in front as they are. Chance to reduce the arrears. Still could be dangerous. It comes to absolutely nothing. Just have to make sure they don't get caught on the counter attack. Read that pass all the way, cutting it out. on the opposite flag now. Aurelia Chouameni. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there. As you can see, he's a great talent. What a run, what a goal, and what a play he is.
three goals without reply. And there goes the final whistle. Portugal have won the Euros on this dramatic night here in Berlin. The joy, the ecstasy, also the disappointment, but ultimately the feeling of togetherness. Well, I have to say, they've been brilliant throughout the tournament. They were great today as well. They are the deserving champions, no doubt about that. And these are very special scenes that we're witnessing. And now, with the pressure off, a chance to reflect, a chance to celebrate, the trophy about to be presented. The European champions, Portugal! What a great moment for these players, absolutely brilliant. And it doesn't get any better than this, does it? A chance now to celebrate with their own fans. And the fans have also played their part. Just listen to the noise here. Great end to this tournament.